devastating crash in Tuscaloosa County that paralyzed two young children. Well, now their mother is talking about the tragedy. Brian Henry joins us live now after speaking with the family. And Brian, you say you left this meeting feeling inspired. Morgan and Sarah, you may recall the crash. It happened on July 13th of uh, this past summer on Skyland Boulevard, very close to I-5920. Kyra Martin says her brakes failed and her car collided into the wheel of a very large 18-wheeler. Four months ago, Kyra Martin's world was altered forever along with her children's. Oh, we're living. It's a new, um, new way of living. Their new normal after what happened on the morning of July 13th, a terrible wreck that left Martin and her four children injured. Martin's daughter, Miracle Jemison, who is all of seven years old, remains paralyzed from the neck down. Sad that I got hurt. I'm sad that my mama got hurt and my brother. Miracle's twin brother, Malcolm, is paralyzed from the waist down. He doesn't remember much that day. I had a brain injury. Kyra and Martin's other two children have since made a full recovery. Considering Miracle and Malcolm's current medical predicament, you will not hear any self-pity for Martin. It could have been five funerals, you know. Martin suffered a leg injury and is still recovering. Miracle's health challenges are far more complex. A machine breathes for her. She can only move her neck and shoulders. Yet the seven-year-old possesses an indomitable spirit and her sense of humor. Miracle is convinced he will walk again one day. She's just glad to be home for the first time since July. Be home with my brothers and my mom and my friends. Reverend Walter Hawkins says the fundraiser is planned for the family early next year. So we just want to put on a program uh, to see if we can get some assistance from the community. My baby will walk again. Kyra Martin says the miracle of their survival took place on July 13th. She's confident another miracle will come through Malcolm and Miracle Hope Jemison. And the fundraiser for the family is set for January 28th at the First African Baptist Church here in Tuscaloosa starting at 3 o'clock in the afternoon that day. Meantime, Martin and her children will know by mid-December next month whether they qualify for a Habitat home. In Tuscaloosa, Brian Henry, WBRC, Fox 6 News, on your side. Hi, YouTube. Uh, the story that you just watched, uh, that's my half-sister on my father's side. Um, yeah, unfortunately, her and her children was in a horrific car accident, and they are going to need all the help and prayers that they can receive. Um, if you can share her story, help get it out there, like, comment, um, just help get the story out. I would greatly appreciate it. If you want to donate, uh, there is um, a place where you can donate at the church uh, come January. If you can reach out, I'm pretty sure that they'll give you information. Um, I'm doing this because God put it on my heart. Um, my little platform that I'm going to put it on and hopefully you guys will have the heart to just hit the share button, hit the like button, um, help get the story out there. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. YouTube.